What is up, guys? It is Nick. We are back on the Dark Knight playthrough, and we need to go kill some Falcons. So, you guys know that I love killing Falcons, so why I left this in for uh, an episode instead of just this isn't just a boss like normal. I love slaughtering Foggins too much, and it's at night, so we're gonna get boosted experience. You know, you know, we had to do this. There's so many of them. It's just, it's just too easy. It's just there's just too many, and it's just too easy. Ooh, we got the bars, nice. A hundred thousand right there. I mean, those aren't as good as the Blackstone armors, obviously, or Blackstone weapons. But they're not bad. And this event has actually been really good to me with the Emissary Seals. I'm going to get like 15, 20 of those black stones with it. Okay, that's not... Okay, that's not the B attack I wanted, but... Oh, okay. Get that guy... So there's the big swamp foggins down. Get the ones behind me, the big foggins. Got some big foggins following us. Get the archer dugout out of here. We're already up like 70% on this level. Oops, I messed that attack up. I wanted to hit that guy with that attack. Ooh, I actually connected with that. Get the fortune teller, so we need one more guard and a few more lookouts, but there's a bunch of lookouts up here, so that works out well. Oh, there's a guard, so there's the end of that. Let's see. Try to create some room. All right, let's try to let's try to do this quest real quick. Let's try to read this. He he he! Even the Foggins are mere ants to us. We're doing great. See, we're getting stronger. Recovery of trade items. Come to think of it, you must have forgotten your duties and gone on some crusade for justice, right? Need to find the trade goods for the Jean merchants. Remember, he he he! Don't you remember? We were here to find them. Really. Really look out, you just you just had to hit me. Uh start hacking and get those items back. Alright, so we just need to retrieve supplies from Falcons. This is this is one of my favorite missions. Just because of the pure amount of experience that you get from it. Hello, fortune teller. Alright, everybody, can we kite up a little bit here? I love how there's no one here either. I'm just getting free night farming by myself with the Foggins. It's great. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember to do, I gotta remember to do Wheel of Fortune, but I don't remember how to do it. That's it. Okay, it's 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 L T and B. We'll do it on this dude. There you go. There's Wheel of Fortune. I need to do it when I have more enemies around me. Kind of serves zero point. See, you know what? It's a really nice day out for the first time in a while. It's been winter, and I try to have my window open, not be a shut-in. And there's trains. There's just so many trains. Ooh, look at all the Foggins over here. All right, let's come back over here. with that Wheel of Fortune. I do really like the Wheel of Fortune, but it's really kind of a not great attack if there's not a million enemies around because... Simply because... It takes so long to wind it up that it just wastes time. You could have just been moving on to the next mob. Alright, so we need one more. 
All right, is it gonna let me read this? All right, uh, no, it's not. It's not. okay. Let's go up here. All right, whoever's gonna follow me, follow me to here. Come here, little buddy. What is, what's my character doing right there? All right, come here, lookout. You gotta die too. Okay. We good? We good. Okay, we're good. No, we're not good. Really? You little small swamp fogging? Get out of here. Okay. Have I nestled myself in here enough? I think this is enough, no? By the way, I can't even tell if this is making a dent in their numbers. It's not. Why don't we just break their spirit entirely? You remember that fledgling Shy said that the Foggins have a leader? I think his name is Tidium. He, he, he. We can definitely make him submit to us. He's arrogant and disgusting, so let's go set him straight. Sound good? I guess. Um, hold on. I wanna let's. I'm gonna farm real quick to 28. I wanna farm real quick to 28 on these dudes. It's night. I almost wanna just farm on here for most of the episode. Just because it's nighttime, I'm getting that boosted XP. I still one shot him, so it's like. Kinda like, eh, I should probably just farm this. Ooh, that connects from some range. Might just start using right trigger over right bumper. It has a lot more range. Which means, you know, obviously. The farther the range, I end up swinging a lot earlier than I should a lot of the time. And so that creates some issues. Let's go this way. I should probably use that light item. I don't think I have that many on this character, though. That's the issue. Use the Wheel of Fortune! Ah, there we go. Still can't tell if I really like that attack or not. It's a little slow for me for like what I do in this game, which is mostly just farm mobs and stuff. It's kind of a slow attack. I mean, it kills a lot. Like, I think it'll be good end game. I don't know how good it is like with these enemies that I just mop the floor with in 10 seconds, but I think late game, it'll be much better. I don't think I have a plus... Do I have a plus 15 weapon? No, I have plus 10 weapon on this character. And my character is frozen. Look at all of the enemies. Alright, let's group up, everybody. This is a good point for Wheel of Fortune. I missed some guys, which that's, you know, that's its own issue. Then and of itself, that's more of a me issue than an attack issue. Twenty-eight. I think you're. I normally spawn or farm here to like nine or something like that. Twenty-nine. I think that's the recommended farm level here is twenty-nine. So maybe when we'll hit twenty-nine, we'll go. I mean, you still level up really quick, despite like. Despite everything, like, despite the fact that I think, I think technically it's like level 24 is when they suggest you be done here, but you level up really well here, despite being, like, over-leveled. Or most areas, once you hit a certain level, they kind of stop being productive at all, like, they're just, like, a complete, they're like a complete waste of your time, like an extreme waste of your time. To even like attempt them they're just like this gigantic waste of your time oh, just i was just out of range see that's what i gotta work on like right there just out of range i'm just out of range a little bit too much and a waste waste time and waste being per like perfectly productive blackstone armor nice Nice, we got some more of those. Got more of those um, silver bars. Did not want to wheel of fortune there. I wanted to do this attack. 
All right, we're halfway to 29. Let's just get to 29, and then we'll go kill the boss, and we'll see from there what we want to do. What I'm going to start doing is calling episodes, you know, when it's a good point to call an episode, not necessarily at, like, at a certain time. Because, like, at a certain time, there were... Oh my gosh, that was a terrible Wheel of Fortune. I am stunned. There were some, um... Some episodes where I probably should have called it earlier, and then we got into, like, the awkward part where it's like, well, we're running to this place, so now this episode is now, you know, ending kind of weird, because I ended it on a, like, a run. So I'm just going to start ending episodes where it seems appropriate to end them, not like, oh, I want them to be 20 to 25 minutes long, so let's make this episode awkwardly long. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So probably after the boss, we'll call it an episode, but that'll, that'll be that'll be a fair amount of time. Okay, that dude's just straight running. Hit him with that Wheel of Fortune. 87%. I keep doing that by accident now with the Wheel of Fortune. I'm used to being able to, like, be running and then hit B. That time I wanted to do it. But I'm used to be able to hit B when I'm running and it not do anything, because before you have Wheel of Fortune, it doesn't do anything. So, obviously, that's what I'm used to. But now, now it does Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's see. Need to kill just a few more enemies here. Seven. Let's see, let's go back over here. Why do I see so many enemies over here? There's like no enemies. There's 29 though. <laughs> Despite there being no enemies, I still, I still, I still got us there. Let's climb up. All right, let's go kill the leader Tidium. The Fogin Prince Tidium. He's actually a decent way away, isn't he? Eh, kind of. I don't know why it's taking us. Sometimes this game's auto-pathing is like, Oh, you want to go to this area? Let us... Instead of, like, the, the tracking being like, Oh, we'll just cut you through here. It's like, no, go all the way around and then go. I understand it's trying to take the wood, the road every time. Like, I understand that's why it is, but I I don't know. I feel like they should have put it in where it will just take you a better route. Like, if there's a better route, just, just auto. Sometimes the autopathing doesn't even take you the best route using roads. Sometimes it takes you awkward routes even, even if it uses roads. All right. Enough talking about the autopathing. It's time to fight... Fogin Prince Tidium. This is the dude riding the, far, the frog, right? Yeah. Oh, he backed up. Boy. I'm gonna hit you with Wheel of Fortune. What is he doing? He's not attacking. Oh, I wanted to hit him with that. I, li I like that attack a lot. Okay, you were... This attack right here... The, the RT, if you hold it, you get, like, this triple slash. That's what I really like with the uh, LTRT. One of my one of my favorite attacks on this character. I know I haven't used it a lot, because it doesn't really pair well with the one-shot stuff. It's kind of a slower attack, and so that's why I haven't been using it. But it is one of my favorite attacks. Hee <laughs> hee, what a wretch the Falcon Prince is. Is his princely upper upbringing the reason why he is so weak? Black Spirit Gift. An accomplished bargain. Hee <laughs> hee. Now only the Nagas need to be dealt with to restore the supply of drinking water to the town of Glish. The only people, or the only problem is that th those tasks to handle them were not so trustworthy. Anyways, we've accomplished our goals. Let's go back to Glish. Let's complete that. And back to Glish we go. So we're going to actually, we're going to go back to Glish and do all that. Um, let's see. None of this is any better. We did pick up some decent stuff from farming there. 
Not bad at all. Have some gold bars on this character as well. I mean, they're not worth a whole lot. They're, that's about 300,000, but it's not terrible. So we have about three. These are 20,000. We have about 500, or about. We, ha we actually have 520,000 between these two. So that's, that's not bad at all. I'm starting to try to save a lot more. So I can, you know, have a lot more money. How many, how much have these guys done this? So they're only at 49,800 and like 90 something. 4,900, wow, 49,937. You have done like not that many at all. It's kind of crazy. You can set those to 50,000. That, that's insane to me. Let's see, the pets. Do you have the pet food on this character to keep them happy? Keep, keep my... Keep my cat, my dog, my bird, and my penguin. Do like that I have three or four different animals now. Like, I don't have like two dogs or two cats or whatever. Not that that's that big of a deal. I just, you know, I, I like I like having my separate pets. What my dream would be, I don't know if you can do it. I don't think you can because... I don't know, I feel like I would know about it, but one thing that I would have loved is that in your house, you could just have your pets that you're not taking out just hanging out in your house. I think that would have been really cool. Is it true that you defeated Tidium and reduced the number of Fogans? That's unbelievable. How come you're a merchant? Although the soldiers dispatched to the Nagas have yet to come back, I see that you've accomplished what we needed. As promised, I shall prioritize the protection of the Jean trade wagons passing by. Seems like it was a good deal for both of us. If you don't have anything else to say, you may be on your way. Oh, the rhyme. If you don't have anything to say, you can be on your way. Alright, Povius. Mission accomplished. You've done well, rookie. You struck a bargain and found the lost goods. I shall return to Heidel before you. Go to the Naga Extraction Mill, but this is not a request for pity. Simply keep an eye on them and see that they do not become a nuisance along the trade route. If you can help, you can help if things get dire, but only if absolutely necessary. I don't believe it would be a bad idea to have them owe you a favor. You never know when you might need one. Never forget that you should always try to exploit such opportunities. I shall be on my way. Let's meet again at the Golden Toad Inn once the situation has been resolved. All right. So, we need to investigate the extraction mill. So I think this is the I think this is a good point to call this an episode. Actually, we can go do this. This is an interesting part. We do get a little bit of a cut scene here, so we can go do this. This is a little bit different of a mission. This this is where we go out here. We look at the the giant the crystal or pyramid however you want to look at it and then we uh we get a little bit of a cut scene and then we're supposed to, i think we go back do we go back to heidel then these are like things i never farm like not the not the uh nagas but the uh like these lizards these triangle headed lizards i ain't never farmed those or like the crabs, I ain't never like gotten those knowledge ranked up. I need to get those things ranked up probably eventually. You guys still giving good experience? Eh, no, not really. I mean, there's a lot of them, so it feels kind of like they give good experience, but eh, eh. They're like 0.4%, or like yeah, like 0.4%, which is kind of trash. It's like the big trash. It's like, it's fine to a certain extent, but it's it's pretty garbage. I mean, I'm gonna run over here and do this because I'm here, but. All right, everybody, come here. Enjoy that Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, see, this is, the, the LTRT, it's just not really viable. It's just not a really viable strategy to use when clearing mobs that you one shot. When I get to stuff that's a little bit tougher, I'll definitely use it more. But when I'm one-shotting stuff, I just don't see the point. Did we not get the cutscene anymore? I thought we used to get a cutscene where he would go inside of that, the Black Spirit, and get a little bit bigger. Uh, I guess everyone is really giving it their all. He he he. It seems like the Nagas were affected by the Relic. It's probably why they were so desperate. Not our problem in the end. We are what matters. 
Now, now, leave the Nagas be. Let's head back to the Golden Toad Inn. What, you wanted to roll around in the mud with them or something? Alright, so we need to report to Isabel. Did we get a black... St uh, what did we get from that? I don't know, something popped up on my screen that we got, but I don't see what it is. But, uh, alright, that's gonna do it. Got Yaz over here in the corner. Huh? Where did Aiden go? Oh, I got knowledge by talking to Yaz there. Thought I had talked to Yaz, or talk thought I had talked to Yaz before. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did, subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of The Dark Knight. Peace.